Now, let's look at a few anti-patterns. But before we do that, let's first consider what an anti-pattern is. Now, an anti-pattern is a solution to a commonly recurring problem that is usually very counterproductive. In other words, the things that I'm going to explain now is things that you should absolutely not do and not design into your microservices architecture. I'm going to explain four anti-patterns and then we'll unpack it a bit. Firstly, everything should be micro except the database. Secondly, microservices will magically solve poor development practices. Thirdly, there's no need for coordination between development teams. And finally, making the technologies behind the microservices your key focus. Number one, everything should be micro except the database. If you have a single database, that becomes your single point of failure. Microservices cannot fail independently if they are all coupled to the same single database. Number two, microservices will magically solve poor development practices. If bad development or deployment habits are transformed from an old architecture to a microservices architecture, it could cause more harm than anything else. Coding and deployment best practices should always be a top priority regardless of the architectural choice. Number three, since microservices focus on resolving a single system functional process, there is no need for coordination between development teams. Since microservices are a fairly new concept, there should always be coordination between teams. It is good that a software architect ensure that the microservices are designed according to the same high standards and best practices across all teams. There should be a uniform standard on how microservices are designed, coding standards that are to be followed, and guidelines and standards on how microservices are documented and monitored. A good idea is to have a single team that focuses on the infrastructure and another team that focuses on identifying microservices for each system function. Number four, making the technologies behind the microservices your key focus. Microservices gives you flexibility in the choice of tools and technologies. There are great tools and technologies available to develop and manage microservices, but they should never be your main focus. The focus should be on how system functionality should be decomposed into microservices and on defining the purpose of each microservice. You shouldn't bind yourself to one particular tool or technology. If you, for example, start by setting up your own Docker host on premise, you should develop your microservices in such a way that it could later be migrated to a cloud provider with minimum effort and no compatibility constraints.